Uh, you're a man who's traveled the world, John Gilstrap. You just came back from uh, not too long ago from Alaska and catching the northern lights, Aurora Borealis. Uh, have uh, you seen many of the seven wonders of the world? I have seen one of the seven wonders of the world. I've seen the Roman Colosseum. Oh, that's pretty cool. What did you think? Pretty, um, well, first with the Roman Colosseum. So there's a <laughs> coolness factor to oh, it, yeah. but it's filthy. I mean, where it sits in Rome, the walls are black from soot. Mm -hmm. and the, but, you know, you've got, what, 2,000-year-old tile that you can that you can walk on. It's huge. I, I was surprised at the size of it. Jamie McDonald, a British adventurer better known as Adventure Man, traveled to the new seven wonders of the world using only public transport. The Great Wall of China, the Taj Mahal, Petra, the Colosseum, Christ the Redeemer, Machu Picchu, and Chichen Itza. And he joins us via telephone. Jamie, good morning. Thanks for being with us. You're on with Rob and John. Okay. Producer is going to come to you or the host is going to come to you in a moment. We're on hold with them. <laughs> well, not really. <laughs> so you're not Jamie is what you're telling me. Yeah. So uh, we thought we got the thumbs up from Colin that we were ready to go here. So my apologies to our audience as uh, we wait for Adventure Man. That's got to be a pretty good costume, too, by the way. I see. Actually, good. Flip that over to the TV side, Colin. There's the Adventure Man costume with Jamie. Yeah. So what, what's, our, what's our time countdown here? When are we expecting Adventure Man? Can you Adventure hear me? Man. Yeah. Can you hear me, Producer Man? I'm talking to Producer Jamie, Man right now. Hi, Adventure Man's here. Jamie? Adventure Man? Hi, Rob. How are you? I'm doing really good. Yeah, I can't wait to chat to you. Oh, awesome, man. Hey, uh, so let's talk. Where are you right now? Uh, right now, I am in uh, London in the UK. Nice. So this is truly a long-distance phone call. Very nice. All right, so let's talk about your adventure to the seven, the new seven wonders of the world, Jamie, using only public transportation. Tell me about this odyssey. Well, where do you start, Rob? I mean, I, I'm used to adventures. I've ran across Canada, America, I've got world records. Uh, but everyone kind of knows I'm not life's kind of great planners. And so trying to take on an adventure like this with 43 pieces of the puzzle of transportation is almost like my worst nightmare. So I partnered up with Travelport uh, to use their technology, uh, Travelport Plus. And so... It just had to go right because I'm so nervous. I didn't really have much control on how this adventure would, would go. And you did four continents, nine countries, 13 flights, 16 taxis, nine buses, four trains, one toboggan, 22,856 miles in six days, 16 hours and 14 minutes to see the seven wonders in seven days or less. When you say it like that, it sounds crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does, man. Did you get Did you get much sleep? The sleep deprivation was brutal. Uh, luckily, I had uh, twins just before this journey, so it kind of set me up for training. Uh, but I had 12 hours in, in total in the space of seven days. But I think what kept me going is, you know, Reaching every single wonder was just incredible. I mean, they're, they're a wonder for a reason. And so one of my favorites was Machu Picchu, going 8,000 meters uh, in elevation into the mountains and the clouds. It was spiritual. It was like having a shot of coffee at every single wonder. John? For normal people, any one of these uh, seven wonders of the world is, is the purpose of an entire trip, and you spend several days sort of absorbing the atmosphere and what have you. How long could you actually be at, at one of these places before you had to pack up and leave to get to the next one? Uh, it was a race to get time, Rob. I'm not kidding. Uh, at the Taj Mahal... Uh, the taxi driver dropped us off, and 20 minutes later, we were back in the taxi. And the taxi driver said, what are you doing? You haven't even seen the wonder. We said, we have. <laughs> and he said, this has never happened before. No one has been in my taxi 20 minutes later. So I think we actually broke a new world record for visiting the wonders in the fastest time. Uh, yeah, it was, it was crazy, the challenge. Uh, but... But equally, I wouldn't change it for the world. It was incredibly beautiful, and, and we still got to see them. What was the previous record before you broke it? 
Uh, so the previous record was kind of, uh, or Guinness World Record said that it would be eight days that we needed to beat, but we had our heart set on seven days uh, to make sure that no one else could break it after we achieved it. And I presume that was the real focus of the trip, was to break the record as opposed to seeing the sights. Well, if I didn't break the record, Travel Paul uh, actually said they would make a donation to my charity to help a kid with cerebral palsy. So for me, it was all about breaking the record. And, you know, for me, it's all about giving back and making travel, you know, meaningful. And so, yeah, that was the goal. Do we have Jen with you, too? Jen, are you there? Hi, yes, I am. Jen Cato, CMO for Travelport. Jen, tell me about the logistics of trying to string together a trip like this. Well, we wanted to come up with the most complicated itinerary humanly possible because we wanted to put our next generation platform, Travelport Plus, to the test. And our mission is really to simplify the complexities of the travel industry. So what better way to test it than visiting seven wonders in seven days it seemed impossible. Yeah, it does seem impossible just to try to coordinate flights and even a toboggan. Where did you have to take the toboggan, by the way? Which which uh, Seven Wonder required the toboggan? That was the Great Wall of China, and uh, that was definitely the fastest way to get down from the mountain and crack on with the challenge. Which side of the Great Wall of China is the good side? <laughs> I've got no idea, Rob. It's the Great Wall of China is probably the length of uh, Britain four times over, I think. So, uh, yeah, it, it, the place was magical, though. When we were there, there was completely isolated and there was no one else up there. So we felt like we had the wall all to ourselves. Well, I have to be honest with you, that was a Caddyshack reference, Rodney Dangerfield, uh, if you ever saw the movie Caddyshack. <laughs> It's a reference from that movie, so I didn't. I was testing you to see if you'd ever seen the movie Caddyshack. I haven't seen it. Uh, <laughs> that's on my to-do list right yeah. now, Rob. I will make sure I watch it. How about you, Jen? Ever see the movie Caddyshack? <laughs> I have. Right. I, was, I was trying not to laugh. <laughs> I thought that's what you might be saying. Yeah, so that's what I was going for. I, I appreciate your candle laughter on that one. That's cool. Uh, let's let me let me ask you about. Uh, how, what was the most difficult of the Seven Wonders to get to, or complicated? The most difficult was probably India, and that's because it's just such a busy country. So trying to get to the Wonder and get through traffic was really challenging. We had a, a night train to jump onto as well, and so on the way back from the Taj Mahal, we had to catch the train. And, and that's why we only seen the Taj Mahal for 20 minutes, because we were just under so much time pressure. So we landed back at the train station late, and I, I honestly thought it was all over. Uh, but the train, you're not going to believe this, Rob, was late, and it fell into our favor. Um, and, and then, of course, and then, so we kind of made that. And another point as well is that I went to the wrong terminal, and we ended up missing a flight. And it was just lucky that there was a travel agent there behind the scenes kind of making sure that, you know, the domino effect didn't happen. That if he missed one, there was a backup plan to keep us back on track uh, to make sure we completed it. John? I can't imagine how fragile this trip is. One flight delay and, and everything's over. You were able to spend seven days on on flights that were on time and with, with visas that were all valid. That, that takes a lot of planning and a lot of luck. Oh, honestly, Rob, it would be like my worst nightmare trying to plan that kind of trip. It takes, I think, a certain kind of person to want to do that and a certain kind of uh, technology to help you through it. Uh, so, yeah, uh, really, really challenging. But um, I, I just don't think anyone else is going to break it now, so get in there. Good luck to whoever wants to break it. So where did this idea start? I see it in, in America, this would be something that would start in a bar with, with a bet over beer that I can, I can break this record. Wh where did your, your motivation to do this come from? Uh, so most of my adventures are always kind of going on a, a, a challenging experience, whether, you know, whether not really knowing I can achieve it or not, and for fundraising for sick kids. I actually gave a talk for Travelport a while back, and after then seeing me speak, 
uh, one of the uh, people came up there and said, wow, Jamie, you know, it's all great. You can do these incredible things, but you're kind of the worst adventure I've ever seen. And, um, and then he said, look, we are attempting the ultimate challenge uh, with Travel Ball Plus to attempt a new Guinness World Record to break the world record for the seven wonders of the world. And we think you're perfect for it. And if you achieve it, we would like to make a donation to your charity as well. So it was the best uh, challenge I could have ever been set. Well, I understand you guys have to run to your next interview. I appreciate both of you. Jen, if you could, a uh, quick plug uh, for Travelport. Look, if you want to look at the Seven Wonders videos and if you want to make a donation to Jamie's Superhero Foundation, visit www.travelport.com forward slash the number seven wonders plural. Hey, thanks to both of you. I appreciate your time this morning. This was a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Take care.